Hello, everybody. We're here with Abdel Rahim Huaish. Well, I'm having, I'm having a hard time to say his name. He's a groundwater modeler. He's from Libya. We, we welcome you. Please tell something about yourself. Welcome and thank you very much for joining us in this groundwater talks. Thanks. Okay, thank you. I'm really being honored by this uh, testimony with uh, this uh, groundwater project. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity and express my gratitude to uh, Professor Sherry and Dr. Everton and all the steering committee of the, the project uh, for this uh, invaluable uh, project indeed. I am Abdelrahim Huish, a hydrogeologist from Libya, staff member in the geology department, uh, Tripoli uh, University in Li Libya. Uh, I think that you know Libya in North Africa. Uh, in 2018, I have been also charged as uh, general executive manager of the Joint Authority for the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer System, uh, which uh, contains uh, the, aquifer, the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer System. Uh, it's a big aquifer system contained uh, a huge amount of groundwater, estimated to be of uh, about 150,000 cubic kilometers, shared by four African countries, which are Libya, Chad, Sudan, and, uh, and, uh, and Libya. Uh, so uh, I'm interested in uh, in hydrogeology in the in the, in the in the in the field of groundwater modeling, either uh, groundwater flow modeling or solute transport modeling, uh, in order to uh, simulate the groundwater flow uh, processes or solute transport processes. I've uh, worked uh, and published uh, a few papers for that, and uh, uh, worked with uh, with. Uh, uh, Arabian projects such as uh, Horizon 2020, uh, we have submitted some proposals and uh, uh, worked with uh, my colleagues in Libya in this, uh, in this uh, project in the past. So uh, once I heard about this uh, groundwater project, uh, uh, I'm really excited to be uh, a member of this, uh, this uh, nice team and I will try to, uh, to contribute uh, with the with my, uh, with my little knowledge and experience in the field of, 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 of hydrogeology and groundwater uh, in general. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to be modest. You don't have to be modest. I check, I, I've seen your, your publications. You're, you're doing quite well. It's, a, it's an honor for us to, to have your partnership and you're willing yes. to, to help us. Very nice. Very Thank nice. You. I Thank you. Thank you. I, I yeah, live okay. with, with some Libyans. I told you, I live with the Libyans in, in Waterloo. They're very nice, very nice people. Thank and you I very miss, much. I miss your food. I miss your food. <laughs> <laughs> that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> and, but that's Thank true. You. That's true. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. So, well, uh, can you tell us, tell us a, a little bit more about the, the groundwater in Libya? How, how is the, you, uh, yes. how the aquifers, if you have, you, you have fractured rock aquifers as well? Mm. What, what do you have there? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Libya, in fact, is a vast country with the, Total area of one million seven hundred fifty-seven thousand cubic kilometers uh, yes. square kilometers, but uh, more than ninety percent of the Libyan territories receives uh, less than one hundred millimeter of rainfall of annual uh, rainfall. So the surface water or the contribution of the soot in the surface water uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the Libyan country is, is very limited, and the country depends uh, for the water demand. Um, more than 97 percent uh, of our groundwater, uh, which is okay. mostly non-renewable groundwater. So uh, we have uh, to uh, concentrate more on the groundwater. Uh, I think you have heard about the great project or big project in Libya, which is the man-made river, uh, which is, uh, has been constructed in the middle of 1980s in order to transport uh, three million cubic meters per day from groundwater from the desert from the sahara desert uh, to uh, the, the coastal area where the population of libya uh, are uh, uh, relatively dense so libya is um, one of the poorest countries for, for concerning the water resources and depending uh, mostly on on groundwater and now we are suffering from the seawater intrusion problems and other environmental impacts such as uh, the collapsing or the subsidence of the of the of the water wheel fields uh, from from where the, the water is being uh, uh, sensibly pumped 
uh, at the Sahara area. So in, in addition to my uh, work as a modeler, I'm interested also for the, for the environmental impacts of the, of the, of the groundwater uh, pumping. So we have uh, so many problems there. Uh, there is a subsidence happening. I think you have heard or read about that in the, in the yeah. Sahara area with the, pump, uh, the, the groundwater is pumped. Yeah, no, this, I, I know the project because, because I had friends in the major project of the, the, the building a, a man-made river. The Brazilians work there. I'm from Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. I think Brazilian you met Nilson, Nilson Giger was there, wasn't he? You know, he, he was a, he's a modeler too. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was, yes, that was yes. a great project. I, 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 I read a lot about the, the project. It's a major project. Yes. Right? It's a major, major project. project. Yes. Yeah, yes. There are some problems mm -hmm. with the wells as well there because it's a, it's a very big project, right? It's a big, very big project, and the, the, the main problem is the water there is, is limited. There is, it's not renewable groundwater, so uh, this project has a, a certain time to, to be finished. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's time. Uh, so yes, Libya is suffering from, yes, yes. Yeah, so Libya know, is suffer, suffering, yeah, suffering from the water resources for... Well, uh, well, to, mm. I, I know, well, this is, uh, it is good to, for us to, uh, the idea of, of the, the groundwater project, it's not only to distribute knowledge, actually is to, to get knowledge from people like you because there's specific problems where we can learn a lot from, from different uh, views yes. and how so, people solve their problems, right? So good, good brains are always welcome because you're, you're seeing your problem from, from your country's view, how you have to solve that. And then we can learn from this experience. The idea is that we can work together and we can distribute the knowledge to, to the other countries so we can improve groundwater knowledge in general. So yes, yes. one point I would like to ask you is that we're trying to, 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 to have a higher reach on the Arabian speaking uh, community, right? And we, yes. and we have some, we have some friends like, like you who, who Hydrogeologists, we become friends easily, right? Because we talk the same language. It's even right. Yes, that's for sure. You know the yes. things. That's true. So the idea is is, is spreading that, and we we're preparing an, an event, and we'd like to have someone speaking from from uh, like we're gonna get John Cherry and uh, uh, and Alan Freeze to talk because they they wrote the Freeze and Cherry book, the famous. Yes, it's, we, it's a well-known book. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we're inviting also Custodio and Yemas from, from Spain because that's a famous book in Spanish and famous yes. overall as well. We're trying to, to invite the Marseille from France because it's a famous book in France. And, uh, but I don't know, is there, is there a famous book from an, uh, someone that wrote a book originally in Arabic? Uh, in Libya, unfortunately, not yet. In Libya, no, but, uh, well, in, uh, in, 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 uh, well, in other countries, do, do, would you know that if there is one? At, at the moment, I don't know, but I would try to. Do... Yes, yes, you don't, you don't have to answer, but, yeah. but it'll be it'll be fun and it'll be good for us if we have someone that wrote a book, yes. right, yeah. in your uh, in your area, you know, because area, yes. that would be very very interesting for us. <laughs> the idea is to to bring different uh, languages together. To show and, that we and catch actually, us, yeah. yeah, because we, we speak the same hydrogeology, uh, yes, yes, we speak the same language, yes. <laughs> so that's, sure. that's yes. the idea, that's the idea. So, uh, uh you think you, you can, you, we can work together in, in people from Libya? If you could offer your help, that would be very good. We can, we will start distributing our books quite soon. This month, we will have two new books. If you could help us, that would be very welcome. I will, I will help you for that. Yeah. Yeah. We can work together. I have many friends, professors in hydrogeology, and we, uh, we have groups in hydrogeology groups here in Libya, and uh, we are very glad to, uh, to cooperate with you, to exchange, as you have said, the, the experience and the knowledge concerning the, the hydrogeology problems and studies, especially in our region, so regionally or internationally, no problem. So our time is short here now. It's, it's been a very nice talking to you. You're very gentle, very kind to, to accept to talk to us. I hope we can be in touch and see how we can narrow our relationship to make this project 
you know, a real a worldwide initiative that everybody can profit from that. Is that okay? Thank you very much for this uh, nice time, for your time, and I, uh, I, I hope uh, more success for this uh, successful project indeed. I will uh, cooperate with you as much as I can, as, as much as I can. Indeed. Thank you very much. Do you have, do you have a, uh, and just a final thing. I would like you to say, uh, in Libya, you say, uh, what, what is your national language? Our national language is Arabic language. Okay, so can you do, do us a favor? Could you say groundwater project, I mean, in your language? Yes, Mashru al Mia Jofi. Very good, very good. We will add it that and we'll send that to you, okay? Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Harim. That was Thank very you. nice. You're a very nice person. Thank you. And if I visit you in Libya, you have to, to bring me to a nice Libyan restaurant. I love it. <laughs> Welcome at any time. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome at any time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye, um, Thank you, Dr. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you.